Good morning. Brian is not feeling too good, so I'm off to the market today to pick up some groceries. I'm gonna make her some breakfast, get her some honey for her tea, hope she feels better. Talk to you soon. Okay, coming out of the market now. Got everything we needed. Got some pomegranate, tangerines, zucchinis. Uh, got some ground beef. I was looking for a ground beef and pork mixture because it's cheaper. They didn't have any, they just had beef at the time. Uh, oh, and I also got honey. Um, I think I might have gotten a little scammed from the zucchini lady. There's no way that four zucchinis is five euros around here. Um, but I mean like she had her son there and I'm not one for conflict so I just you know you swallow the pill you take what you ask um, and then also I might have gotten <laughs> might have gotten scammed by the ground beef guy because I was looking at the meat there I saw the price tag in front of the meat and I asked for two kilos and the price rounded up to way more than what two kilos worth of meat is so either he put his finger on the scale or he uh, rung it up as something more expensive, but I mean, whatever, man. I'm just trying to trying to eat. I don't know what to do about that. I don't want to cause a stir. So, <laughs> uh, but the honey guy was really friendly. He was very helpful. I said, uh, "What's a good honey for some tea?" And uh, and he's like, "Oh, well, this one's the best, but it's a little bit expensive. So if you're trying to save money, this is the next best one. You can save a couple of euros." Very nice guy, so I did that. I went with the slightly cheaper option. They all looked really good. Uh, so I'm just uh, excited to try that honey. Croatian honey. wonder if it's like from around the region or he imported it, I'm not sure, but I'm sure it'll be great. One more thing I noticed. Uh, so on top of pretty much everything being closed on Sundays, uh, everyone closes super early on Saturdays too. Like, uh, we, uh, when, when I got this haircut, most of the hairdresser places were closing at 2 p.m. on a Saturday. And you think, well, everyone's off for the weekend, which means that more people are gonna wanna go on Saturday to get a haircut. But around here, it's the employee's choice and the employees wanna take a break, so they take a break. Uh, so we're kinda getting used to everything closing super early all the time, uh, just trying to get the hang of that. We just had a nice breakfast at home. Bunch of fresh fruit. Yeah, and they picked up a bunch of fresh fruits and some honey, which the honey was delicious. Best honey I've ever had. I'm not really like a honey person, usually, but like I was literally eating spoonfuls of that honey. It was so good. Too floral for me, but check this out. See that stop sign? <laughs> Look behind me. Oh, just not stopping. Not a sing we haven't seen a single car. They're just running it, they don't care. I guess they don't have very many out here and maybe they just simply don't care. So uh, yeah, no, every, yeah. Every car has been plowing through the stop sign. Like not full even speed. Down. Yeah. Uh, so look both ways when you cross the road, <laughs> I think, is what that means. Yeah. We are on our way to Maximir Park to see some of the nature that Zagreb has to offer. Um, so far, we've been doing a lot of stuff in like the inner town, mm -hmm. but we're venturing out. It's about a Maybe. 49 minute walk, it yeah. said. Um, and while we're taking the scenic route, so it'll be an hour walk. Yep. But apparently there's a zoo there, there's a stadium, and a lot of space for hiking. So it would be nice to get some fresh air and see what the nature is like. Yeah. Um, we uh, There's some places we wanted to go as well, but they require us to take a tram to get there and we just aren't brave enough yet because we don't want to get stranded you know we keep every time we go somewhere far like oh we should take the tram yeah oh but walking is probably easier like i don't know yeah. and we realized today we're being scaredy cats about the trip yeah so we'll get we'll get the balls one day but right now we're just walking yeah found the park. So we're here at Maxmere Park mm -hmm. um, and it's lunchtime so we're having a picnic. Yeah and look how pretty it is. Ooh. Ooh. 
And then if you look over there, there's a hill behind the tree. We're gonna check that out later. Yeah, it's got a really nice like, mountain view in the background behind all the trees. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, it's really gorgeous here. But we got some food as well. We're starving. Yeah, <laughs> we stopped at a restaurant called Submarine. Mm -hmm. um, and Nick got a burger called The Monster. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's uh, It has four beef patties in it and then whatever else, I don't know. Yeah, we haven't unwrapped it yet, but this is the top and this is the bottom, so it's <laughs> quite large. I'm hungry, so it's worth it. Um, and then I got a Caesar, chicken Caesar salad. It looks really good. So, yeah. Woohoo! Let's eat. How do, I, how do we even eat this? Alright, first bite. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> mm. It's so good though. Oh my god. Check this out. It's an example of that old navigational tool of how moss only grows on the north side of a tree because on the south side, that's where the sun is, It'll dry up all the moisture on that side of the tree, giving the moss no, you know, water to grow from. It's pretty cool. It's beautiful. Look at that. So, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, oh, you mean? <laughs> yeah, <it's> like, <laughs> oh, yeah, I see. I see the. <laughs> 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 